Looks like I might see a beaver hunt right over there. Right over there in the edge of those woods, right in front of us, off the point of the boat. I'm gonna get up here and see if that's what that is or not. All right, guys, it's definitely gonna be a hut. Just by looking at the trees that are around here, I almost bet it's gonna be gonna be too deep for me to get out of the boat. It is right here for sure. I don't have my waders, all I got on is my hip boots. This is that same hut I paddled up here with in the kayak. Uh, hopefully I can get across right here. If not, I'll have to find somewhere to get over there on that other side. All right guys, so we got a run there. Two runs going in right here. Another run right up under here. There's beaver tracks, another run, another hole going into it, guys. So, uh, couple more runs on this side. Guys, I'm gonna get this set up. All I'm gonna do is come in here and set up in these runs and uh, holes and uh, See if we can't get these beavers picked up. All right, so there we go. We got that trigger trigger set, safeties are off. Guys, we're just gonna come in here. We're gonna put our anchor on the bottom of this stake. All right, guys. Now all that's left to do is to get this thing over there in that run. I'm gonna put it right in the center right there. All right, guys, so there we got that now. Let's just take it. Let's kind of camouflage this in a little bit. like that guys so that's two sets made we got this one right here this is going to be the main run they're using going in there right into the ditch and step over here and i'll show you this other one i'm trying to be quiet they're going to know that i'm in here but i'm trying to be quiet nonetheless look at all these tracks all right guys so right here's that first set that i made they and their tracks were coming out of this hole going into here down into the water in that ditch uh they're gonna have a banked in hole somewhere right in there they're using but i got this back side of it set here with this 330 in this hole Whew. all right guys this mud's wearing me out muddy everywhere trying to crawl up and down around here so we got these three sets on the edge of this ditch now guys uh, those two i showed you let me back up here and i'll turn around and show you this one right here at 3.30, we got it. But I just went and done it the way I always have. Shoved a couple of sticks through the spring, secured it there. Those sticks are gonna help camouflage it in. <laughs> Guys, that's the only traps I brought with me was those three. Uh, tomorrow, I'm definitely gonna bring snares back with me. And I may even put a snare in every one of these holes, backside, front side, get every one of them covered with a snare. And I try to get these beavers picked up out of here pretty quick. I don't know how many is going to be in here. We've already got two, one adult, one baby. There's going to be quite a few beavers still in here. So I'm just going to walk around this area, guys. Look over here on this other side. See if I can identify any other trails that they're definitely using right now. We can tell they're coming up this backside, guys. Going up here, feeding, working on the back of the hut. Right there under that log will be a perfect place for a snare. If you can, you can put your 330s on dry land, that'd be a perfect place for a 330. All right, morning guys. I'm trudging through this mud, getting back here to this hut uh, that we have set. I brought some, I brought some snares with me, a couple more 330s and some stakes. Uh, couldn't find my, my uh, 
cable cutters. I got two different sets of pliers, my fencing pliers, my cable cutters. And I guess I've carried both sets into my shop and don't have them with me this morning. But guys, on my way out yesterday, uh, I found this dam right here. And uh, I went ahead and put a drowning rod on it. And we got a beaver caught over there this morning. So all I did was come on the upper end of this uh, uh, dam and put a foothold like I always do on all my other sets. Uh, the drowning rod didn't work. I don't guess it's deep enough or he was able to pull it up. But uh, anyway, there's number one. All right, there's the rod, guys. He's a pulling. A good back foot catch. Good size beaver, too, guys. I'm going to go ahead. We ain't got to worry about him. Look at that full back foot catch in that TS-85. But anyway, I'm going to get him taken care of real quick, guys, and uh, get this reset. All right, guys, so we're... We're probably about halfway from that dam where we just made that catch and then the beaver huts up here Right here if you look behind me this hollow tree here uh, I'm assuming that root system then beaver dug out and got a hole coming out the back side of that root system on this tree But you can tell Tracks they are really wearing this trail out coming up through here going into that tree Got beaver tracks all along the edge of it where they're coming out working around it uh, I'm gonna hang a snare right here guys now, I really didn't like the idea of using snares right on that beaver hut because I like, if I'm trapping a hut, I want the animal dead. I don't, I don't want that animal, uh, I don't want that animal bouncing around all night struggling with those other beaver to know something's going on. So I'm gonna try to set these snares up out away from that hut in these other areas that they're visiting. And guys, since I forgot my cutters, I'm having to break. This is a uh, number nine gauge wire. It's real stiff. I'm, a, I'm just working it back and forth here. I'm gonna, gonna heat it up and, and break this wire since I don't have my, uh, don't have my pliers. Oh, there we go. All right, guys. To, to secure this, I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna make two bends in it on the bottom, just like that right there. And guys, that's what I'm gonna shove into the ground here in a minute on the side of this on the side of this trail to secure that snare. Now let's get us a snare here. Guys, I didn't think my earth anchors would uh, would be where the flip in here in this mud, as soft as it is. So I'm just gonna secure this uh, back here to a tree somewhere and uh, extension cable. Well, we're just gonna have to make do with what we got. A shorter piece of extension cable I think would be better but we're just gonna have to make this work because this is what I carried back in here with me. Not having my cutters. I just, I come unprepared, I guess you could say. We got this whole set up here now. We've got, I just anchored back high to this little tree behind me. That's gonna shorten up my uh, uh, cable a little bit. It's gonna give them some, some pull whenever they go to tug in some flex. Uh, guys, all I do, I've got my snare hanging on this, on this uh, nine gauge wire. I've got my bend at the bottom. Um, guys, I'm going to come right down here on the side of this thing. I'm going to shove that wire down in that mud. Now that bend's just going to keep it, keep that wire from rotating. So now I can take and just adjust it to where I want it. We're going to go right there with that loop, guys. Right in the middle of that trail. Right there that's where we want it that snare is hung that's ready to go guys i'm being as quiet as i can i'm not i'm not purposely making a lot of noise i can see tracks going in this hole right here guys i can see this 330 up here still set Nothing happened. This 330 is still set too, guys. I'm kind of surprised. I'm going to lay this stuff down right here. Get over and check this other one more trap we got over here. 
and it's still set too guys still set no reason to go up there all right guys so i really wanted to put a 330 in one of these runs this is that big y this is probably going to be one of the main runs they're using uh and i wanted to put a 330 in here so what i did i come in here and i dug out enough of the bottom all this mud right here pulled it out enough i can get that 330 down there where there won't be any question about uh legality of it uh I didn't want to put a big a big dive stick across it because I think this channel, them beaver are going to want to keep this channel clean. So I think if I put a big stick on there, they're going to come up here and want to drag that big stick out of the, out of the way, out of their walk path, basically. And that may be the case with the trap itself. They may want to come up here, pull this whole trick, all this stuff that I've shoved in here in the middle that's normally not here. They may want to pull it out of the way to clear the path. But... Uh, I just put a few just little sticks along the side to camouflage it. I had to use these to secure it along the side. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we may take some of this mud that we got here, guys, just to camouflage it in a little more and put it over here on the side walls, little springs. That's going to help. That's going to help just disguise it a little bit more. Uh, Here we go. We'll see. We'll see what that does. Maybe we can get one picked up uh, here. All right, guys. We're just on the other side of that Y. This is that same big hole we was, or same big hole we were just looking at. That 330 is right here. So what I've done, I'm gonna come in here and hang a snare up right here underneath this log. And guys, I've got it anchored right here behind me, high up on this limb. Uh, that's gonna give it some give. Not able to break as easy. Uh, we're just going to come in here and attach our snare to our cable quick link or a split ring i'm going to go ahead and throw my name tag on here real quick guys so we're so again so that we're legal right, guys, we want to make sure that our snare is not wrapped around itself it's in working order it is right here Guys, I've already lost my little piece of wire. That other second piece of wire I broke in half or go. I don't see it laying here, not sure where it's at. So we're gonna improvise and just use what nature gives us. I'm gonna load this snare real quick. And guys, I'm kind of wondering now too, uh, since, uh, since this water has gone down, guys, I'm just looking for, we'll use that stick right there, guys. It's got this little wire. I'll be able to put my uh, my snare, uh, attach my snare to that little Y. I'm just going to come in here, guys, and shove that stick down the ground. It's about the height that I needed about right there. But I wonder, guys, if uh, we're just going to use this little spring to attach it to that, to that limb right there and screw it on there. Ah, of course, it's going to break. guys we're just gonna take we'll just find us a stick that we can screw into that into a little uh holding spring there to hold that trap up and it may take us a few tries to find the right stick but we'll find it let's try this one right here Guys, now we'll just come in here and we'll, we'll figure out how to anchor that stick in there so that it'll hold that snare where we want it. We're going to say just about like that right there. There we go, guys. We got that snare underneath that log guarding that little hole there. Uh, so y'all two, we can block it down a little bit on both sides. We'll throw this little stick up right there to block that down. We'll take this little stick here and we'll shove it right in there just to kind of block that side down it just leaves them that one avenue through that snare so now we got guys we've got every run coming out of this hut to this point guarded between the between the ditch water and the hut uh, but i started to mention it earlier i kind of wonder with this thing being high and dry i'm wondering if them, the beaver aren't actually living in the ditch and bank bins right now 
uh, just so we'll have that water right there close. That being said, uh, the, all this rain we're getting right now, the weathermen saying we're going to get, gonna, they're covering their bases saying we're going to get anywhere from one inch to three inches of water. If we get three inches of rain today, that's going to bring that water back up in here. And they're going to come back over here and use this hut. Uh, even with the rain coming, even just a little bit of rain, the water level starting to come up a little bit. I think they're going to be, if they're not staying in here now, I think they'll be coming back to this hut to check it out, see if possibly they can move into it. Because who wouldn't want to live in the main house, right guys? This thing is nice. I guarantee you it's nice on the inside. They're going to want to be in this house if they can. So we're going to get everything set up that we can today and hopefully have these traps waiting for them when they decide to come home. I'm going to keep moving, get some more sets made. All right, guys, so we got that snare hung up there. I just used a stick. Again, just put it right in front of that hole where I wanted it. Kind of blocked it down a little bit with this stick here. This limb sticking out enough. They come through there, they're going to go through that snare. Guys, all I did to anchor it, I come back here, run my cable back here to these two stubs and this big limb. And I caught all three. I caught those existing roots that were there and that limb. And if uh, one gets out here, they're not going to be able to pull that up. And if they do, they're not going to be able to go very far with all this brush and stuff out here. So uh, I'm going to keep making my way around, guys. Okay, guys, I kind of wonder if there might be a bank den entrance right here where this little crawl out is, if there might be another entrance they've dug going up in there lower. So I'm going to get down here in this ditch and walk walk along this edge. All right, there is, guys. There is a bank den going in right here. So we're going to take this other 330. This may be why we didn't catch them last night because they're using this this uh, this den that's right here. So I'm going to get this 330 in here and get it blocked in this hole. All right, guys, I'm soaked to the bone. I'm not sure how well the camera's recording. Uh, and I got this set in here. Uh, it's really muddy, but there is a hole that goes back in there just straight behind that trap. Uh, Maybe that's the entrance they've been using. So we got that trap sitting there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and walk right here, guys, that next little indention where those sticks are sticking out. We, that's where we started on the other side and got that first 330 set right there. I'm going to walk this little section right through here just to see if there's another bank den that might be going up in there. And all I've got left is snares. If I can, I may try to get a snare on it. If not, I'll bring another 330 back in here with me tomorrow. We'll try to get this hole covered. All right, guys, so I'm halfway right here, and this right here, I found the hole that they're using. It's got a hard run channel on the bottom, so they're still in this hut. They're just using this uh, this underwater entrance to go up in there. So this is going to make this is going to make about 12, 13 runs going into this into this beaver hut, guys. I'm not going to set a snare here today. It's pretty deep. I'm going to bring my one of my uh, big H stands, my 330 stands and uh, we're going to put it on this hole tomorrow uh, as much as we covered around the other side we should catch some out when they're out running around especially with this rain the water coming out so hopefully we'll have some catches in these other traps tomorrow and then i'll get this main this main entrance right here this front door covered tomorrow as well i'm gonna go ahead and just step on around here guys feel for feel that there might be another one i bet there's not gonna be because right here is this run so yeah, that one, that one main entrance, that's why we didn't get them last night, because uh, because we didn't get this thing set up. I just had those three traps. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and ease over here to this other side and try to get out of here. And, uh, and I'll check back in with y'all over here tomorrow.
morning guys here's my h10 six foot tall h10 basically just a regular h10 that i've come in and, and welded some round stock to the top to make it six foot high and uh got us a 330 we're gonna put it put it on it and uh put it in, in that in that main entrance run that we found yesterday guys right over here is this dam uh, i'm really surprised I'm glad to see the water like it is. It, it's higher than what it was. Uh, but I was afraid with there still being some beaver in here. It had been three weeks since we were down here that they had that drain plugged up. And I was afraid, guys, that we were gonna, uh, we were gonna have water flooded back in here again. Right, guys, we're coming up here to this first snare we had set here under this tree this hollow tree base and uh snares down and guys i don't know if it was because of an animal because of the wind or because of uh, water washing through and we got leaves holding on to it so the water was coming down right there but anyway, guys, all we can do is get it reset back down in here. And I just thought I'd show you guys the back side of that tree. So we got that snare sitting in front of that tree, and it's hollow. And then they basically just, just dug a tunnel all the way on through that root system coming out the back side. And they would have been using this when the water was up higher, had this submerged. They'd been using it come up to the, to the dry to the dry ground to get feed all right guys so that snare we got right there next to that tree and that hole it's still set up i can see it i step around here check these traps now our 330 that i put in right here guys it almost looks like there might have been a beaver up here last night behind me definitely looks like looks like one was up here in the mud crawling around so maybe maybe we got one here but i feel like the trap is still right there in the same spot it is guys that trap is still still right there set I'm gonna go ahead and step right around, right around it, and get this one in, get this one set that we got it in our hands. And tell guys that water come up and those beaver come right over the top of that trap where we got it guarding that hole. All right, guys. So all we're gonna do is feed that, feed that trap all the way down those rails. We're gonna, we're gonna anchor it right here at the bottom on that stand with both spring eyes, just like that. I'm going to take my anchor cable. Guys, up here, I'm just going to close that. Close that there. And I'm going to use my, my anchor cable just to wrap around that end. If I make a catch, uh, a lot of times they'll fight enough that it'll, it'll open that. Open that Y back up. So I'm just going to kind of close that off here with my anchor. Anchor to hit. And that's gonna be it guys we're just gonna take that trap just like it sits there and uh make sure our safeties are off and we're just gonna place it right in front of right in front of that entrance all right guys i'm just gonna use my stand itself to feel that run i can feel it on this side and feel where it drops off on that side i'm gonna go ahead and drop off in it Guys, that puts me right at the top of my waders. So now I'm just gonna take my foot and feel, and I'm actually standing right at that entrance now. It's right underneath me. So I just use my foot, feel for that hole. I wanna get my trap placed directly in front of it, right there. Shove it down in the ground. Gotta take the safeties off. Uh, 
get it back down in there. All right, right in, right in front of that hole, guys. All right, so now we got that trap guard in that hole. Guys, it don't look like we're gonna have a catch. Looks like a beaver was up here last night. So they're taunting me. Now looking inside there, all I see is small beaver traps. I don't, tracks. I don't see any of the big beaver. So I think this may be an interest that some of the younger beaver are using. And what I've done, I moved this 330 right here in front of it. And uh, I put mud up on the springs on both sides to camouflage it in. Guys, I even took one stick, put it right in the middle in front of the spring to uh, to kind of you know, give them a smaller area to go through. But I tried to camouflage it in good with these other sticks to make it blend in. And uh, yeah, we'll see if maybe this one will pick one up. But guys, I really think we got them spooked. Uh, we may have to leave these traps set for, for three or four days uh, before before they come back out and start moving around. I don't know, we'll just have to see uh, that main run coming out. Uh, so I think we missed them last night moving because they all come out that hole we didn't have guarded with a trap. Uh, now, now we've got uh, the waters come up, so I think they'll start using these tunnels now that the water's up in them. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get them picked up. All right, morning, guys. I know uh, today is going to be the day they're all full. So I'm going to get back here and, uh, and get them checked. And uh, hopefully be showing you guys a lot of catches. I know today's the day. All right, guys. Made it down here across from this hut. Or 3.30 up in this hole right here. Still standing there guarding it. Uh, I'm not seeing my stick or anything in this hole. Uh, had a 3.30 guard net. I'm not sure if the water moved it around or we might have one there. Uh, just to the left of it, you guys probably won't be able to tell on camera, but that's my my big uh, A-frame H-stand for that 3.30 on it. The top of it's still tied, so it doesn't look like anything happened there. But I'm gonna go ahead and climb down here, check those two sets. Uh, just looking around guys I don't see any movement uh, so I don't know we'll get down here and take a closer look all right guys I can see the top of this 330 it's still set man look right here they sure been up here on top of this thing behind me pulling up grass all over tracks everywhere fresh tracks all in my tracks where I come up out of there so they know I'm here guys. These, these may be fun to get. I'll step right here. We had a 330 right here guys. Guys the trap is trap is gone. Right here's our anchor. And guys uh, Something happened at 3.30 broke. And I'm pretty sure I had it anchored to that stake right there. Uh, all right, I can smell those beavers. I can smell, I can smell them up in this hut coming out of there. Uh, I'm gonna search around here, guys, see if I can find this trap. Uh, I'm just gonna walk, walk right here behind me, see if I can't kick something with my feet. Uh, he shouldn't have went far, had one in it. Man, it's always aggravating when you lose a trap. I'm not feeling anything, guys. The mud is super thick out here. I'm, I'm sinking a good six, eight inches. Every footstep that I take. Go ahead and check this trap right here, guys, while we're here. Right there, I just bumped into something floating right there. What is that? I think I may have just found it, guys. Yep, there's fur. There's our trap. There's an animal here. All right, good deal. Let's figure out what happened on this. 
I may not anchor that thing, guys, because it ain't broke or anything. I may have set it there without an anchor. Uh, I knew these were going to be smaller beaver in here, so I probably should have uh, brought some 220s instead of these 330s. Uh, but that, that worked. So we're going we're gonna to try this again. I swear I anchored this thing. But uh, anyway, we're going to get it put back in here get it working you know what guys I've been playing I've been playing with these uh, stands enough now I'm kind of getting them figured out all right so right there I've got that trap set there I was able to turn it upside down didn't have to mess with my triggers much at all and uh, turn it up right here and get this thing get this thing set back in here I bet that's what happened last time guys see how the anchor ain't on there anymore I put that anchor on there and then fiddled around with it trying to find a spot to place it and uh, that anchor fell off I almost bet you that's what happened on that last time too what keep that in mind Keep that in mind as we uh, as we go forward. All right, guys. So safeties are off. Can pull some of that mud down. Find me a stick to put across there. We'll just use that one right there. go guys so uh, see if we can't pick up another one with it all right believe it or not guys that eh, I'm not sure what's going on there I might pull that up and take a look at it Beaver may be in that hole, a log. It almost feels like there's a log or something in it. A stick. Yeah. Yep. So guys, they. It's funny because it's coming out of that hut. So. All right, guys. So I got that thing put that trap put back in front of that hole. Step over here. See, maybe we got a got a catch in this one here. All right, look at there, guys. Got another one there. So good deal. get it get it reset and put back in here and uh, keep making our way around this hut all right guys I was hoping to have some more of these full but uh, we got two of them uh, there's two more that's not in here so uh, yeah good deal so I'm gonna I'm gonna carry I'm, I'm, I'm glad that both of these are small ones I carry them back to the truck and uh, We'll be back over here tomorrow. Hopefully I have a couple more of them picked up.